Hey guys, oh, welcome back to Joe's RC Corner. I'm sorry I'm a little bit late on releasing this video. It's probably going to come out on uh, the Sunday after the Saturdays. I usually put out a video every Saturday, but uh, this is probably going to come out on a Sunday, uh, mostly because I put out a video midweek this week. So uh, uh, that was technically supposed to be for this weekend, but uh, I was so excited uh, that we had that engine running that uh, I needed to go ahead and post that and share that with you guys because that was a huge accomplishment and a huge milestone for me and the cricket here. So um, what we're going to do this week, well, stay tuned. Let's see. Okay, guys, so welcome back to the channel uh, after the intro. And, uh, yeah, we're going to get a little, bit more work there, uh, uh, a little bit more work done here on the uh, cricket. And one of the things that we are going to get done, um, I just wanted to give you guys some updates and also just a little bit of work here. We're not going to get a whole lot done this weekend. Uh, I'm waiting on one major component here. Uh, so I can finish up my electronics, uh, the wiring and everything. I'm waiting on my EIS, guys. Uh, I sent that back last week. Uh, I just got a call from John yesterday. Today is Saturday. So Friday, I got the call. My EIS is ready to go. It's been updated. It'll now read the transducer, uh, which I also have coming. And we also added the airspeed and altitude to the EIS as a backup unit, backup screen. Plenty of backup screens in there. Um, I'll have my iPhone with me as well when I fly, so that should be great. Now, I'm not sure if anyone noticed anything in the background here, but I finished building up my seats here. Um, I'm really happy with that slide and seat option. My wife's going to be happy as well because she'll be able to slide the seats forward to get cargo in the back if we need to. And... Uh, I think they're going to work out really good. I know it added weight, guys. Um, so everyone in the comment area that's probably going to be posing in there that that's weight that's not needed. How many people are going to be flying the plane? Blah, blah, blah. I get it. But that's your airplane. This is my airplane. And I'm really happy with these seats. So um, I mentioned in the past uh, that I was working with flight line designs for the interior uh, i believe uh andrew also from aeroworks got his uh seats from there he lives nearby there so made it very easy to go get them um which is awesome by the way mark uh with the blue angels um cruiser also got his seats from her so about a little over a year ago, or about a year ago, I don't know, it's been a long time and I can't remember, I reached out to Abby over at Flight Line Designs and uh, I put in my deposit and I've been waiting for seats. I'm still waiting. Um, so those are coming hopefully soon. And uh, once they are here, we'll be able to see how, that, how they look in there. I'll be able to finally really see if this stick needs to be cut or not, or adjusted, anything. Um, I'm not sure how much higher the seats will be. So that's yet to be seen. Now, I do want to go over a few mistakes that I've just recently made that I did not realize until after the fact. Don't let this happen to you guys. All right, let's turn the camera around. I'm going to show you what I did wrong. Okay, guys. So I uh, wanted to show up my uh, beautiful nose art that our local uh, ATD, uh, they do uh, different types of designs, uh, graphic designs, and they also do window tinting and things like that for auto. So, uh, but I had them make up my nose art for both sides. Now, this side, everything went on really nice here. It looks really good. It's well stuck on there, followed the curve really good and everything. Um, 
But if you're looking at the L50 Cricket, do you guys see what's missing? The C is missing the bottom, and the E is missing the two top pieces. Now, this is not their fault. Somehow, when I was peeling it off, I did not notice that these peeled off as well. That is my fault. So, I already threw away those papers that might have had them stuck to it. So, my plan is I'm going to go ahead and pull these off. And um, I'm going to do it on both sides. And I'm going to make one up myself because I do have black... Um, I do have black vinyl that I can go ahead and cut this section out myself and we'll get that posted, re repaste it back on there again. Uh, but yeah, that was my fault. I didn't even realize that uh, when I was rubbing it down, I didn't get that side, those two uh, rubbed down pretty well. And uh, when I peeled it off, I just was like, ooh, look at a cricket. And I didn't even realize any of that. So we'll fix that up. A um, couple other things. Uh, I still love the paint job. I think it came out really good. But I think what I'm going to do is I am going to still do a glare shield on here with the black. So I'm going to tape this off again. And I'm going to try to be very careful taping this area off one more time. Uh, because I think this is going to be my dividing line for my glare shield. So I'm going to have the glare shield probably uh, right up to the edge uh, underneath this uh, rubber here. And it's going to come up along here. All right, And I think it's going to come... It's going to curve right about here, up, uh, and I want it to curve just in front of that, and then come around to the other side. So this top half is going to be the flat black right here, which is uh, basically this here, and it's just going to go to here. I'm going to leave this olive drab. I know L4 uh, grasshoppers didn't have that black up here, but that's okay. This is a lot here, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. Uh, this area, I'm going to leave the olive drab. I do have to strengthen this area up, and that's going to be a, rip, um, a piece of uh, aluminum that is going to rivet here, and then rivet when I have all of this done, uh, probably right about here. So this rivet here, and then maybe one more on either side. I don't know. We'll see how that all works out. Uh, that'll keep this piece from flopping, but... I'm not doing any of that until this is done under here, which is this. Okay, guys, I need to have all that done first. I need to figure out also where I want to put my parking brake. Uh, I also need to get my flap and my elevator trim. So I'm thinking about putting my flap here. Or no, yeah, flap here and my elevator trim here. So right next to each other here. I think that'll work out good. I can reach it when I'm using my throttle. And that'll be nice. Um, I need to finish up a few things down here and get things tied up. Um, I'm going to probably have some of my wiring. I'm actually debating whether I'm going to bring all of my wiring through the center console here. Uh, I know that I have to be very careful because of the elevator uh, and also my rudder cables that are coming through. So I'm going to try to tie as much as possible down to the bottom because... Don't do what I did, guys. You could have, I could have ran a lot of wire and down through here, and I probably still can run some in here. I do have a hole right here, but uh, and I do have one on that side. But do your wiring before you put the seats down in there, the seat bases, because now if I take these out, uh, it's going to be a, a nightmare because I already have the side ones in all along inside here, and I have them along here. And then also along this back section here where the cargo is. So I don't want to do that. So my goal is I'm going to try to run some down along the side in there in one of these channels here, right? Um, same on this side down here. But some other ones are going to end up going down and along there as close to the bottom as possible and then branch away. And stay clear of my rudder cables. So I do need to run my uh, string down through there. I do have some more nylon pieces, nylon bushings back there. I need to get riveted in place, uh, which is not a big deal. Uh, and then we'll get that all situated back there. But seats are built, guys. And um, I did 
Uh, this may not look like it's been primed or painted, but I primed the correct the side that's touching for right now because I'm not going to get paint under there. Uh, the sides that are facing out, they're going to be primed with the standard, uh, with the same gray primer I'm using everywhere else. The seats will be, the seat bases will be black. I'll probably go ahead and paint these black as well just because I'm uh, never going to see them, but why not? Um, and then I do have to finish up the uh, pegs and the washers and all that fun stuff in this as well. But yeah, this worked out really nice. Uh, they glide really nicely here. So we'll get these unbolted and probably get these painted up uh, today uh, and make sure um, that's all taken care of. Uh, but in the meantime, that's what's going on with the chip, uh, with the uh, cricket guys. And uh, we're going to get started. Um, so, all right, guys, we'll be back. We got the paint booth back up, ready to go. We have the, uh, the seat parts uh, are all hanging up out there, ready to go. And uh, we've gone ahead and I've decided we're going to go ahead and put a glare shield on the, uh, the cow, but just on the cow. Uh, I'm going to leave the, uh, the top up here in the Isle of Drab. Uh, of course, the windscreen is going to come down to here anyway. Uh, so maybe about a, about a half inch of green will be showing on this side uh, from that uh, rubber seal and the, uh, the glare shield. So uh, we're going to go ahead and do that. So I've gone ahead and we've scuffed up this paint as much as we can. We've taped off the hinge again because we don't want to get anything on there. But what's good about this is... Um, these sections here where I got a little bit of extra white because uh, I didn't have the tape on there right, we can get that taken care of this time. So we've gotten the, uh, the glare shield is all taped off. I know in some spots it may not look straight, but uh, it is. Uh, it's the humps here that are making it look a little wobbly, but it's all coming down to the right same uh, point here. And it's curved around on this side as well. So that's all going to look really good. So we're going to go ahead and uh, we're going to get those uh, seat pieces prepped for primer. And then we're going to paint those black. And then uh, once we were starting to paint that black, we're going to pull this in there as well. Get it finalized and prepped. And then go ahead and spray the black on here as well. That will take care of the cow and the seat bases. I know I still have other pieces here, uh, but I haven't built the other one yet. So I'm going to get that built first before we go ahead and uh, get that painted. Um, so that's the plan right now, guys. Let's get started. I'm gonna go ahead and set up my time lapse uh, a little bit closer this time to the, uh, to the booth there so you guys can see me painting, if you guys care about seeing that. Uh, but uh, that's all scuffed up, ready to go. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, get started. So uh, stay tuned, guys. Hey guys, all right, so welcome back. And as you can see, I got my paint gear on because we went ahead and we did prime up all of the, uh, uh, the seat parts are all primed. Uh, my cowl is prepped for the black uh, glare shield. The paint is mixed and set in here and uh, just giving it a few minutes to, uh, to kind of let that, uh, the primer flash off there. And uh, once that's flashed off, it takes about 10 minutes or so. It'll still be a little bit tacky and uh, that's perfect time to go ahead and lay down the black. Okay guys, so welcome back. And after the time lapse here, we got the uh, seat bases are all painted black. I had enough paint to paint the, uh, the cow uh, with the, uh, the flat black on the top. 
and I was also able to go ahead and paint the seat backs, the frames. So hopefully, uh, hopefully I'll be getting my seat, my cushions very soon because that is all set, ready to go. So we're going to get those reinstalled and uh, call those done. Uh, but let's go ahead, let's take a look and see where we are. Okay, guys, so as you know, we do have this great paint booth in here. And uh, what's really nice is that it gets a bit warm in here, which is really good for the paint because it kind of bakes it. Uh, so it helps it dry a little bit better. But as you can see, the seat bases are painted in that flat black. They're looking sharp as hell. And uh, made sure I got underneath very good and inside these grooves. So that's all looking good. The uh, steel brackets are painted and primed. The seat back base, uh, that is also looking really good. Uh, we're gonna let these cure though before we reassemble any of that. Uh, there's the other one. Uh, I'm not seeing any spots that I missed. I'm not too concerned if I missed anything down here because down here, that's gonna be covered by the seat cushions anyway, so we'll be good to go. Here you can see the, uh, the matte black on the uh the top of the cow so that's gonna look really sweet and then the other seat base so we're gonna go ahead and let these flash off really well uh before we take these out and start putting them inside uh i might start pulling off the tape though at least around that front so i can kind of get an uh, inclination of how this looks so let's go ahead let's see what we can do here with one hand i don't want to mess up the paint but let's uh Let's see if we can't get some of this taken off. There we go. We'll pull that away. Just like so. Beautiful. Alright, so to get an idea of how that's going to look, guys, I like it. And it's going to look pretty sharp on there. That'll be my glare shield. All right, guys, so uh, that's all we have. Uh, this is pretty much all we're going to be getting done for this portion of it here, guys. Uh, so we will uh, go ahead and uh, I'll leave the time lapse up for a little bit longer, but uh, we'll let this cure and set off. And uh, then we'll uh, go ahead and get the cow at least reassembled back on the plane, let that cure there because it's a little better for it to cure on the airplane no one will touch it it's just there out of the way and uh other than that that's pretty much it my eis uh will be here next week so maybe next week we'll start working on some of the avionics wiring harness and so on try to get that kind of situated um but yeah that's pretty much it for today guys make sure you hit that subscribe button i am so close to that thousand mark Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Make sure you hit the bell for the notifications on the next videos if you're interested in wow the cricket's coming out. And uh, if you're interested in RC, once the cricket's done, we're going to get right back into that and start building some more kits because I got some more planes there to build. So make sure you do subscribe, guys. Hit the like button if you like what you see. Put some comments down below if you have some, uh, some insight. Uh, I know a lot of guys have gotten a lot further than I have. So if you have some insight, put that down below as well. I'm always open to more uh, knowledge and learning new skills. So please go ahead and do so. Without further ado, guys, that's it. I'll catch you guys on the next video. Keep building, keep flying.